Hi, I'm John, the Money Systems Engineer, and these next two posts, the first one will be dealing with the Davos question of the economy. Are you confident the global growth will be restored in 2009? And the environment, will the environment lose out to the economy in 2009? Part two will be, should company executives have a code of ethics similar to doctors and lawyers? And will the Obama administration improve the state of the world in 2009? So the next Davos question is ethics. Should company executives have a code of ethics similar to doctors and lawyers? Well, doctors don't have a very good code of ethics. In Canada, they will let their people go sick when they know marijuana is a good medicine. They will refuse to prescribe it. So doctors don't obey their oaths for the good of their patients if their insurance companies say we might not give you insurance. Uh, lawyers. Oh, God. Lawyers have an oath? I didn't know that. To do what? To represent their client no matter how much they have to lie. Well, there's nothing lower than a lawyer, and they are really badly trained and brainwashed into thinking that there is no truth. Sad. So that's it. Should company executives have... Now, engineers, too. Engineers in Canada, we get an iron ring and we swear an oath to the integrity of systems design. So we don't have the right to go to bed knowing the thing is rattling without going to check out what's making it rattle. That's the duty of the engineer. But you take a look at the engineers who lied about 911, tell us that, hey, all of a sudden the charcoal is melting your barbecues, right? Well, it's not. And no way two, two plane loads of gasoline melted three buildings. But yet, those engineers, lying engineers, they got no code of ethics down there either. What about the shuttle engineers? They knew that the O-ring seals were going to crack because it was too cold, and they let them up, go up anyway. They got overruled by economists and insurance agents who said, don't worry, they're insured. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you, there is no code. Everyone's a prostitute to money. Everyone's a prostitute to their job. So, should company executives? Well, as long as we're playing death gamble and some companies have to fail and others do not, you're going to end up with the cheaters and the liars. And once they're into it, they may as well do it big, right? Penalties pretty well the same. Actually, the more you steal, the less likely they're going to be able to hurt you because you got a lot of money to pay lawyers to get you off. <laughs> and you got to admit, when you look at the Western justice system, Someday they're going to look back and they're going to watch all these TV shows always fighting with this same stupid problem, which is the right to suppress and exclude the truth. Okay? It's always motion to exclude the truth. First thing any lawyer, defense lawyer ever does in Western law is a motion to suppress the truth. And judges say, okay, sometimes the truth should be suppressed. Now let's see if we can get to justice. <laughs> what are the odds of getting justice when you're suppressing the truth? So, that's another issue, though. The point is, you can't have a code of conduct and expect it to be obeyed when everybody's playing a death gamble. Even in musical chairs, if kids were going to go hungry at the end of the day, some kids would start elbowing and some tripping and even pushing right off to get the chair, especially if no one's looking. So, play death gamble, people become animals, are forced to become animals by the banksters who impose the condition on them. But, Give them an interest-free loan where they can pay back only the principal and every payment goes against principal and eventually every debt gets paid off. So there is a way to settle debt on our planet, but not as long as the growth of debt, the positive feedback on debt usury is allowed. So, should there be a code? Yeah, let's spend time figuring out a code that all these guys can break.